Rajeev Khan and we are back in our REST API tutorial this is the second part of our previous tutorial so uh, we have seen how to make a basic simple REST API in Rails so so far we have seen a show method which gets a user in JSON format say for user 1 it will respond oops the server is not running right now so let's go and start see we are in our project rails api we can start the server by rails s here we go so it returns the json format of the stored data so this we have seen in our first tutorial in part one so now we will continue with the rest of the methods like update delete and create so let's move on so here is the blog post for the second part of this tutorial so let's create create action in rails api so so far we have seen we have been coding in users controller so we will be adding a method create def create in which there will be a variable uh, which will be blank for uh, for now and uh, we'll be fetching data from a private method known as user params user params is used to sanitize the attributes uh, to be assigned through mass assignments so it will be ha it will have all the data and if user dot save is successful it will render the json data with status code 201 else it will uh, render the errors with status 422 okay so let's see our code is our code so go in app controllers api v1 and here is our controller so to save time i have already put it method create method and here is our private method user params so and here are our attributes email password password confirmation so let's move ahead after creating these methods we need to tell our routes that we'll be using another method named create so in our routes file routes.rb we have added another method create so i have all added this already so routes file is inside config routes.rb so here i have already added the create method now let's go and check it out if it is working or not so for checking the endpoints we will be using postman it is a tool to test api endpoints so let's create a record of user say let's create it for view at the red gmail and see if it is working or not so we have selected post method from here our api endpoint is localhost colon 3000 slash api slash v1 slash users and uh, here in the body we are using um, raw and we have uh, specified the type of the data that is json so uh, I have supplied the data user email view at the red gmail so here is our complete json uh, data in json format now let's see if it is being created or not so here we go and see here is the response 201 created with user id 9 we can also test this in browser 
so let's go and here it is for user 1 so let's do it for user 9 here it is I have also shown the snapshot of the same in my post so you can go through it if you are a bit confused now let's see update action so similar to the previous one we'll be adding the update method in the users controller so here is our update method which is doing uh, simply fetching the users to be updated and if user dot uh, update is successful it will render the json with status code 200 ok as it will render the errors with status code 422 and uh, as uh, we need to tell our routes as well that we will be using the update method as well so we need to uh, do an entry in routes.rb file as well so let's go and see if we have done it or not so there is the update method in our routes.rb file and in our user controller we also have the update method so let's check it out let's use bash method that point would be like this and we need to specify which users we are updating so we will be updating our newly created user that is with id 9 and we will be updating the email oops that was the response i need to edit here okay so we will be updating this email which was view at the red gmail to view update at the red gmail let's send it here is the response status 200 ok and here is the updated data let's check it again in the browser here the previous one was view at the red gmail see it is being updated view updated the red gmail ok let's move ahead now we'll see the destroy action so it's the same it's a bit easy we need to add the destroy function destroy method in the controller which will uh, take the corresponding user and will apply destroy method and will give 204 status no content and again we need to tell our routes.rb file that we will be using a destroy method as well so let's go and check this out we will be using delete method so we will be deleting the newly created record only ok so it is successful the status code is 204 with no content let's see if that record exists or not so let's make a get request for the user id 9 and send so we have got uh, uh, error page let's see in the browser okay so record not found that means the user have been created couldn't find user with id 9 so we have successfully implemented all the methods now these errors can be handled and we are not covering that in this tutorial so we are restricting this tutorial after the crud action so we have successfully completed the all the four methods of crud hope um, you enjoyed the video thanks for watching